What is up everyone, Vami here. Uh, today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to fix your GTA 4 if you updated to title update 1.0.8.0. Uh, I was able to achieve a achieve or receive a patch uh, that basically downgrades you back to title update 7. So that's 1.0.7.0. Um, so when I go to upload this video, I'll put the description or the link to the file in the description below. And it's it's a really easy step. Um, I don't know if because I re I remember when 1.0.7 had a problem with Rockstar. Um, if that is a issue with you, just go ahead and message me. That I'll probably do that in a different video if if uh, many of you guys have that issue if, and I can't relieve it all at once. Um, <clears throat> So basically, uh, let me open up, let's go to my multiplayer folder, just to show that I'm running on 1.0.7, once I could close it, alright. So basically you're going to go to uh, your GTA 4.exe, your pro properties, and uh, you're going to go to details, and you're going to see that your product version and your file version is going to be 1.0.7.0 on both. So I was saying that you're able, like, with the update to 1.0.0.7 or, or 8, they updated it to where you can't play with mods on GTA 4 anymore. So this, uh, this patch will basically allow you to play with mods again. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to go ahead and close that, because how this installs, it's going to go to your, directly to your Steam file. So we're just going to go ahead and open that, and we're going to go to my GTA 4 file. <clears throat> so we're gonna minimize that for now because we don't need it just yet <clears throat> so once you have this uh, zip file uh, installed you're just gonna go ahead click highlight the uh, folder you're gonna press extract to desktop and you press OK so once that uh, processes through it's gonna go directly to your desktop right here what you can do with this file is just throw it in the trash you don't need it anymore Alright, so since you have the file now, you're going to double click it, and you're going to have a couple things in here. So you're going to have the Media Cab 1, honestly I don't know what's in that, uh, probably just a bunch of fed stuff, yeah, so nothing important that you need to know. Uh, you got Patch 7 Notes, so this basically tells you what was updated in 1.0.7.0 and 1.0.6.1 and 1.0.5.2 if you're Japanese and Russian. Um, so you, th that's again another garbage thing. Uh, title update MSI. That's for a uh, at the Windows installer, but you don't need that either. You're gonna want to use the uh, title update .exe. What you're gonna do is you're gonna right you're gonna highlight it, right click, and run as administrator. Or if you don't run it as administrator, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I never did it without administrator usually when I've ever whenever I install something it's always out as administrator just so I know that it's going to be installed correctly so you're going to wait out while it's commuting the space requirements um, I already have it installed but you're just going to go it's going to be like basic next 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 and it's going to be finished and then you're going to have your GTA 4 working but first um I don't know never mind Ignore that, but first thing. Uh, <clears throat> so we're just going to wait while uh, it's commuting the space, just like everything does. If you guys haven't seen my H1Z1 video, I'm going to put a li the link to that as well. Um, not really happy with the views, but you know, that's, that's something. And then I think I have another one coming out tomorrow, maybe? I think tomorrow I'll put it out. And my dog is over here whining at me. So while this is going through copying new files, it's going to take like maybe two to four minutes, depending on your computer. Uh, mine took a little bit. 
Like you can see mine's going pretty fast. Also guys, if you want more tutorial videos, uh, just put it in the description below or in the comments below and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll love to do some more tutorials. I mean, I don't mind them. They're pretty fun. So after this, after it copies into the new file, it's going to just go ahead and remove the backup files. Um, at this point, you can't cancel anything or you're, you're screwed. It'll fuck up your game. Don't bark, Winston. I like petting my dog's head just so he doesn't bark in this video. So after that is done, it's going to say uh, highlight finish. So you're just going to click finished and you are all done, my friends. It's that easy. It took like, what, six minutes at most. Um, so after that, you're just going to, it's going to, I already showed you that I'm already in 1.0.7, but I'm just going to show you again. I mean, I can't really prove anything, but it works. Trust me. This updated, I was out with it, out without a game for like two months until I found this. So there it is, 1.0.7. This is going to pop up. Uh, if you guys have this issue, just go ahead and put it in the comments below or just notify, DM me on my social media. I'll get that notification. It's a lot quicker than YouTube's messages uh, or the comments. I don't really get comments notifications. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, put the like that button and uh, subscribe. All right, peace.